Hey everybody, welcome back and today we'll be doing another lead code 290 word pattern. This is an easy one given a pattern and a string for uh, find if s follows the same pattern. So uh, here follows mean a full match. So what is a match? Uh, it, by seeing the example one you can see that there is a pattern ABBA and let me write it down ABBA and the other one is dog cat cat and dog so now what we will be doing is we have to see like these are just making i am making maps and you will see that a is mapping to dog and then b is mapping to cat and b again is mapping to cat and dog again is mapping to uh, a again is mapping to dog so these will be the values uh, and for the uh, like you can see uh, from the uh, from the perspective of s to pattern dog is mapping to a and cat is mapping to b and again b and dog is again mapping to a in this condition where there uh, where the value at map 1 value of a is equal to the value uh, the to the uh, to the b you can say the first word at b and what is the word it is just being separated by by the space so it is the same and if it is not then it will return just false you can see like a will be mapping to dog and a again will be mapping to dog and vice versa so in this case we will return true but in this case where one value is changed like fish here fish and it will mapping to a but here there is an error it will be mapping to fish and a cannot map to a as a key cannot map to two different values so that's it we have to check if the value that is incoming is already present and yes if it is in incoming then we will allow it otherwise we will just return false immediately and that's it now let's code it down so first of all we will be making a list and Split this whole string on the basis of a, uh, you can say, a gap. And if the length of word is equal to length of pattern, only then we are going to proceed. Otherwise, we will just return false because there is no way they are going to be uh, the map of each other or we will return true. So we will just return false. And in that case, there will be CW map and a wc map we will that will just uh, character the uh, character word and a word to character so that's it and now for i in range there is a function by the way in python where you can just do like this a b in uh, a b in zip and you will say like uh, putting word first but we'll be putting pattern first so A will be for pattern and B will be for words and that's it. So you can check if A in CW is present in CW and CW at A is not equal to B. In that case, we will just return false. Return false and if B, same, uh, same with the B, same process like if B not equal to a incoming a then we will just return false and if it is done we didn't return false then we know that we should do the map like this value at cwa will be equal to the coming b and value at wcb will be equal to the coming a and if we pass all of this we know that we are going to return true so that's it and let's see if this works yeah this works and let's submit it and that's it